My man Zar make tracks like this. What's going on y'all? Uh, so this is a quick video showing how to uninstall plugins on a Mac. Uh, this is a follow up to my last video which was managing plugins in Studio One 3. And in that there was a couple plugins that I wanted to completely uninstall and remove because I knew that I wouldn't be using them. So I've got the finder up here. You wanna go to your, under devices, go to your, uh, your computer, whether it's your MacBook, iMac, Mac Pro, go there, and then from there you want to go to your hard drive, library, audio, plugins. So here you'll have uh, components, which will be your Pro Tools plugins if you have Pro Tools. You've got your VST3 and your VST. So let's slide this over. Okay, so I'm going to uninstall, I think it was the Isotope, uh, Isotope Imager. So I just find it, uh, that's the del uh, delay. Here it is, Ozone Imager. And I'm just gonna move it to the trash. I use uh, Command Delete. Let's see. All right, and that's in the trash. And I forgot the other, oh, the uh, Plugin Alliance. It's the, uh, I think Plugin Alliance has its own folder. And actually, I think it's under VST. Here we go. Plugin Alliance uh, Millennia. All right. So you move those to the trash. And then from there, you just empty the trash in. That's it. The plugin is uninstalled. Uh, so we'll do that. And uh, I'll clear the trash or empty the trash. And then I will fire up Studio One uh, just to show that those uh, plugins have now been uninstalled and removed. Okay, so back in Studio One and under uh, Isotope, you'll notice that I don't have the Ozone Imager anymore. And under Plugin Alliance, I no longer have that uh, Millennia plugin installed. So that's how you uninstall plugins. That also not only does it work for Studio One, but uh, for any um, any DAW. So uh, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time.